All right, so uh, today's warm is going to be pretty simple, I think. I just want to know who this guy is right here uh, on the screen, and that is Tim Duncan, right? Um, and now this is going to get just a little more tricky, and bear with me. I know this is a little bit like, what, what, where's he going with this? But we'll get there. Um, so I want to know who else Tim Duncan is, or, or, or what else do you know about him? Like, yes, he is Tim Duncan, but what other ways could we describe him? We could say he's a power forward, right? That's the position he played on the court. Um, a lot of people say he was the greatest power forward of all time. He's also a five-time champion. He's also a father of two. He's also a business owner. He's got um, a, a auto shop that like does customizing work on, on cars in the city, right? He's also a former San Antonio Spur. He's not with the team anymore. He's a former coach. He coached uh, last year for the San Antonio Spurs, and now he's done, right? So these are just some other things that you know about him, okay? So that is to say is that like Tim Duncan is a lot of people, right? Or there's a lot to him depending on um, the context in which you're talking about him or the situation in which you're talking about. Just like me, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a son, I'm a brother, I'm a friend, um, I am an instructional coach, right? Or something like that, right? Like, so just all these things that you are. I'm also a basketball fan. Um, and all those things kind of matter. And all that extra information can be helpful when you're trying to explain something as you're writing. So let's look at this sentence. Tim Duncan is my favorite basketball player of all time. Simple sentence, right? But I kind of want to think back to some of these other things that are important about him and say, what else could I say about him? So. This is a sentence within a positive. Tim Duncan, a five-time NBA champion, is my favorite basketball player of all time. Okay? Now, I could have chosen any of these things from the list, right? Or anything um, else that I could have said about him. But I chose this for a reason. I thought if I added this detail about him being a five-time NBA champion... It might help explain to you very quickly why he's one of my favorite basketball players of all time, right? Like, I, I, this could have been a completely different sentence, and I could have said, you know, he's one of my favorite players because. But this is just a nice shortcut um, to get that information to you quickly, and now you're saying, okay, uh, you're starting to understand why he's my, my, my favorite player of all time without a whole lot of explanation afterwards, okay? So... And a positive is simply a noun phrase, and that sounds fancy, but it just means that there's a noun in there uh, and any group of words that help explain that noun, like adjectives, right? And it's placed next to the noun that it describes. So a noun is a person, place, or thing, right? So Tim Duncan is a person. A champion is a person. Maybe you can say it's a thing or whatever. And this, this noun and noun phrase is describing Tim Duncan, so it's right next to it. And it's just giving us more information about that noun. Uh, and the way we're going to know that we added it correctly or the way we add these to our writing is we put commas uh, before and after the noun phrase or the positive to show that we're adding that extra information to the sentence. Okay? So Tim Duncan, a five-time NBA champion, is my favorite basketball player of all time. It also works the other way around. A five-time NBA champion comma, comma, Tim Duncan is my favorite basketball player of all time. Both of these sentences work perfectly. Both of these, our, uh, a positive, positives. This is still a noun phrase. A noun phrase can be just the noun itself, Tim Duncan. It doesn't have to be a bunch of adjectives or describing words before it or after it. Um, so this works just as well. And you might say, okay, what's the difference? Why would you do one or the other? Why are you showing me that this could work either way? So, if I wanted to say that Tim Duncan is a five-time, like if I wanted to ex help explain why he's my favorite player, I would do it just like I did in the first sentence or the first example, right? Um, Tim Duncan, I want you to know exactly what I'm talking about. And I want to tell you a little bit about why he's my favorite. Uh, goes in the positive phrase. Now, the way this, uh, you might do it this way if you want to build some 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 suspense, right? Or try to catch your, your reader's attention. So if I start off by saying a five-time NBA champion, and then you know, if you're a basketball fan like me, there aren't many five-time NBA champions. You got like, um, uh, let's see, Magic Johnson, uh, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, I think. Like, there aren't many. There are more, some more with more championships like Michael Jordan and Bill Russell. There's some with way less, um, but five is that spe specific number. Um, 
becomes interesting. So you might be already thinking to yourself, oh, I wonder who he's going to talk about. Right? So it builds some suspense and some curiosity in certain readers. And then you say, oh, I'm talking about Tim Duncan. And they're like, oh, OK, now I know where he's going with this. Right. So that's why you might want to use one over the other. So today we're going to work with adding um, a positive to, to our own writing. But I wanted you to see this example um, so that you can kind of see how it works and why you might want to do it in your writing.